and here we check in here like this in here I have not connect my camcorder to my computer okay I just connect in here and I connect my camcorder to my computer turn it on yeah turn it on here turn it on and I turn my camcorder to uh, play mode or if you depend on your, on your camcorder if your camcorder is uh, VCR mode or play mode or VTR mode so you can turn it on to those mode like my camcorder in here this the uh, play mode so I turn it on and here it connects to my computer my camcorder and here for exporting to this uh, to uh, export to the tape you have to check in here that this one is the red area bar the red bar in here that means in this sequence they cannot play it in real time and when you export this into a video tape they have job fair, job fair, many job fair on that that's not a good exporting so you have to run run this area as the green bar that means they run a movie file into your computer so they can play it export it directly from those files so you can make the uh, playback keeping uh, the real type playback it's better to eliminate the draw frame when you export your video tape so like this you can run this red bar into a green bar like this run what area like this they run the what area bar in here as you see I said the what area bar on my entire sequence in here they run all in here they run the file in run the file in preview here they run this file in the computer here and directly uh, log it to my sequence in here like this so they can play it directly from this file and keeping and uh, keeping it for real time player when export to the uh, video tape for example in here if you delete the render file you want to delete it check it this file yes delete it like this and this file have been deleted like this for the export to the tape you have to run this error bar run, run this uh, red bar to a green bar run the file into the computer so you can play it in real time in here here you see they run it it's really important when you want to export to a DV tape if not they have drop free that's not a good rendering for the video tape okay they finish like this maybe you see that all in here that has red bar how about if you just put it just for the example here here like this they have no red bar because this the single modify they can play from here and in real time so they have no red bar if you make it how about the red bar come from you know it one by one you make it for example you may a effect on it they may a red bar in here so you can run it so okay you can play it directly from the computer here the render file and play in real time no drop fail on the rendering exporting and here I just remove it here this and uh, here so when once you run the red bar into a green bar so you can export it into the tape like this in here the device control that means if you uncheck it there no device control on or over the computer on the camcorder that means when you just click the record they just record in any play in your in your camcorder in your camcorder tape there of course if you want you can take control more control on that like this you enable activate the recording device control and you check in here yeah you check in here you can assemble this the sequence in here from the title in your mini tape in here and like this in at the 10 second at the play that means they play go back to 10 10 second or forward to 10 second before recording the sequence 
so this is very good so you can check it 10 seconds or 20 seconds for example I keep it and record my CPI in 20 seconds on the MIDI tape like that and delay movie start by zero phase that's a mechanical from the camcorder for my camcorder I think that's good they have no delay so I just zero phase here but if you have problem about the delay recording on your tape so you can check it make it before or after how many phase on there so you can check it here pre-roll time 5 phase that's mean mechanical from here that's mean they return to 20 second and they have uh, return to uh, 19 second and about 25 phase and going for 5 phase and at 20 second and record the sequence that's the period time in here you have to set it it's better to set it at least at least five frame in here i suggest you at least five frame or ten frame in here never make it zero and here the option above after one drop frame in here if you select it above drop frame above one drop frame or ten drop frame how many drop frame you want to stop recording like this if you not run this bar they have drop frame drop frame drop frame many drop frame and in here if you run this as a green bar in here they eliminate possible as good as possible to eliminate the drop frame like this you can enable if they have drop frame have one drop frame and avoid the recording so you can check it make it if they have one way I want you to stop here and fix it and record it again like that here report the draw phase yeah they tell you how many draw phase after recording run the audio before export that means when you for example if you make a complete uh, audio editing on here or many audio in here so they cannot keep it in real time export so they you can enable here to run run the audio into into an audio file in the computer here before before export here to the video tape like that so you can enable here but it's better in here for a better quality you enable here and set the uh, title in here when where you want to record it from and below five ray in here and enable all it here it's better for the quality a ball game if they have job phase, how many job phase, run the audio before export so you can make it here. And here export statue, here job phase, or call no job phase because I have not starting exporting. And statue, really, yes, really to export. Start title here, from here, start title, end title, here the entire sequence. Current title, current title in, in my camcorder is a cell. Okay, I, let's check it. Click record to record it here you see the mayor screen here export the audio before ex, ex run the audio before exporting like this they in my computer yeah in my camcorder they go to 20 seconds before recording 18 seconds 20, 23 28 29 20, 21 frame now it's the at 8 18 seconds 7 frame 8 frame 9 frame 10 frame 11 frame 12 14 15 16 7 a 20 21 22 23 24 25 now is recording pre type for is exporting now it play from the 5 phase before 20 seconds and record it into the tape at the end recording yeah here they have finished they have no drop phase so they have not aborted the recording they have no drop phase zero job phase and recording successful they have record the sequence into my dv tape now here that's successful and somehow if they have job phase they abort it 
and they report how many jobs are here and if they have problem with uh, exporting so they show you the information in here okay we have export the sequence into a db tape we can close here this you can export your sequence into a uh, db tape that's very easy